The pomp and circumstance was more than three years in the making. Das Auto is finally back in the States. But a highlight of the day was VW's newest superstar. Six-year-old actor Max Page. I've never been to Tennessee before, so it's cool. But the biggest VIP was the new VW. That is a great car, but think how great that car will be when it's made by Tennesseans. Even though this is the grand opening, the plan is already up and running, and to date they've already produced more than 1,600 new Passats. Some for testing, some for consumers, and all right here in Chattanooga. That was May 24th, 2011, and you know the grand opening was the first time we really got to see that huge, impressive new facility. Joining me now are two people very uh, involved in getting that announcement to fruition. First, we're going to talk with Hamilton County Mayor Jim Coppinger, who actually got to be in Germany yesterday for the announcement. Mr. Mayor, thank you so much for being here. Just tell me what this means, getting this new expanded line. Well, it, it really is exciting because directly we'll get 2,000 new jobs. You're going to see a $600 million investment uh, to go along with what we had the first uh, the first to go around, if you will, and indirectly it's going to create thousands of other jobs through Tier 1, Tier 2. And another piece that really interests me, uh, obviously I care a lot about education. There will be an educational tax that will be uh, a, a value of about $1.5 million to our Hamilton County Public Schools. So a lot of good things going on. Now, you were involved getting the Volkswagen plant here. You were a member of the Hamilton County Commission at this time. But what was it like now being in the mayor's chair, being more involved? Well, I mean, it was it was a it was a great experience. Obviously, it takes a lot of people uh, to put this together. Uh, we had a lot of help from our friends at the state, federal government was involved, and then certainly the city of Chattanooga and Hamilton County. We were involved in the Chamber of Commerce, and you're going to talk to one of the individuals who's directly involved here in just a minute that played an integral role. Again, they do the recruiting and uh, keep us in contact. So again, it takes a lot of people to put this together, and uh, it came together real well. Well, I want to say thank you for all the thank hard work. Thank, thank you, you so much, Hamilton County thank Mayor you. Jim Coppinger. And joining me now, he mentioned we will be speaking with folks at the chamber. This is Charles Wood, the Vice President of Economic Development. All right, part of the big announcement today is not just jobs at the plant, but research and development. What does that mean for our area? Well, I think for, for Chattanooga and for Hamilton County, uh, adding R&D jobs around the automotive sector is, is a huge win. And, and the big thing for us is it's really one of the first locations in the southeast that's seen that happen. Why do you think Chattanooga gets that? That's kind of a huge accomplishment. Well, I think um, I think there's a couple of things that have happened. One is the relationship um, with the company, with Volkswagen, has become really good. They've been very successful here in Chattanooga, um, and their employees that they've had here, they love to be here, right? So first of all, it's the environment that's here that um, the city and the county have helped create. And then on top of that, I think it's also really an effort for Volkswagen to kind of embrace and, and build their understanding of the American market and the American consumer. And so that, what that means is that means better cars made here in Chattanooga for the U.S. public. That's right. Thank you so much, Charles Wood, the Vice President of Economic Development for the Chamber of Commerce. And, boy, there were a lot of people here today. And everybody, a lot of things going around. But you know what? It seemed most of the folks up on the podium today, they really thank the workers at the Chattanooga Volkswagen plant. They think that's really what gave us the edge over Pueblo, Mexico, which was basically a lot of insiders thought that was our real competition for getting the SUV expansion right here in Chattanooga. Reporting live from the Hunter Museum, Amy Ketcher, WDEF News 12. Now stay with us. After the break, we've got more prime news at 7 to come.